Brad, come on. <clears throat> Talk to me. What's going on? How could you just let her go? Trust me. I'm angrier than you are. Angry, hurt, pissed off, all of it. I couldn't have stopped her. Neither could you. Maybe if I hadn't had that fight with her before she decided to leave. Sylvie. I mean, at least you got a chance to say goodbye. Listen, the reason I was trying to find you this morning, <clears throat> she wanted me to give you this. got some wisdom on this. He who makes haste with his feet errs. I'm paraphrasing, but the gist of it is this. Take the time you need to consider the facts. Separate out your fears. And trust your heart. You can't go wrong with that. You're good at this. We got him. That was a perfect tag team in there. Whoa. Sorry. I feel like... Well, I can assure you, whatever you say stays between us. Of course. Look, I appreciate you coming by, Chaplain, but I'd prefer to put this whole thing behind me. I shouldn't have brought Red into this. No, no, it's, it's all good, really. If you won't talk to me, talk to someone, anyone. I promise you'll help. Just heard from Claire. Stitches are coming out next week. She swears she'll be back. Oh, good for her. Um, <laughs> look, I, I know it got a little rowdy at the end of the party the other night, so I'm not sure if you had a chance to exchange numbers with Casey, but I'm sure he'd be cool with me giving you his info. Ah, uh, he is an awesome guy. You were right. See, I told you I wouldn't steer you wrong. Yeah, the thing is... Oh, he's not your type. Sylvie. You're the one who should be with Matt Casey, not me. You know that, right? What? Oh, no. No, no, no. He was he was married to my best friend. <laughs> okay. No, he's definitely <laughs> Come on. Come on. I sat next to the two of you the whole night. You're meant for each other. What's up? My bandage came from on that call, and I don't want you to yell at me again, so. <laughs> But you definitely need a new bandage on there. OK. I'm going to do it this time so it doesn't just fall right off. Didn't fall right off. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty good at this stuff. Should made me consider a career in EMS. Sounds exciting. It is. You're set. Yeah. Morning, Glories. Holden pushed the briefing back half an hour. He's on a phone call. 
perfect. Yeah. That means we are officially not late. <laughs> Silly. Silly, hey. I'm glad I caught you. I wanted to talk to you before shift. Uh, I drove to your apartment, but you were already on the road, I guess. Um, yeah, we're, we're bouncing for days. Yeah, look, uh, I was thinking about this all night. I don't want to make a big scene, but um, I spent five months in that hospital bed, and I swore I would make the most out of every second if I got through that alive. Look, Kyle. And then you showed up, and, and I couldn't see what was right in front of me. I, I don't. I love you, Sylvie. Your smile changes the temperature in whatever room you walk into. You have such a, a brightness, such a radiance, such a goodness that, that I would be the biggest fool on earth if I let you get away from me. I'm leaving for Indiana tomorrow, and I am begging you to come with me. Sylvie Brett, will you marry me? Yes? <laughs> you said yes, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so, I think the chef would just ask Sylvia to marry him. Congratulations. I just, um, it's, it's what you said to me, actually. You said that Kyle and I are right for each other, and I really thought about that all night. And then he showed up here. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm happy for you. Thanks, Matt.